I'm out to get Max. Mm-hmm. Oh, preposterous, considering the way we spent last night together. Oh, right. What with the bed and the twisted sheets and the sweat and all. Passion and the love. Whatever. So you see, that's why your idea really makes sense. No, no, no. My idea is the only idea that makes sense. Think about it. I go to the Buchanan Lodge, and there's a video camera right outside the bedroom window. Hmm, which I happen to put there. Yeah, because you and Max are making a triple X video. So naturally, I swipe it. I go to I go to sh show it to Blair, and, and, and before I can do that, you and Asa swoop in with your tag team number. Stop that from happening. No, we didn't know. See, and that's thing. when I figure out that the old man is in on it. He is not. Oh yes, he is. Asa and his new cheating wife. You guys are trying to set up Max. Why? Because it's my property, and you've stolen it. So? It's me. You know what? What, what is it? Uh, what does it go for now? You know, you steal porn. Was that like a class G purse misdemeanor? I, I'm so not worried about. It. I'll call the cops. Give me that thing. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Relax. Back off. Back off. Calm down. Take a breath. Breathe. I'm gonna put the phone down. Okay. All right. Here's your tape. Just kidding. of yourself doing the nasty, and I'm perverse. What that tape? I want that tape! So what do you think something goes like this? I, I, I auction off on the internet. What do you think? How dare you? How dare you? Nah, you're right. It would never work. I mean, you're you're no Pamela. And, and let's face it, <laughs> Max is no Tommy. I mean, who would bid for this kind of boring stuff? Oh! Why do you make things so disgustingly difficult? No, 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 no. Why? I'm not making anything difficult. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here so I can figure out what it's worth to me. The thing that I'm stuck on is, is why your husband would want a videotape of you rolling around the sack with another man. He didn't do it. I'm the one that did. I know you keep saying that, but I don't believe you. Now tell me the truth. But you, you may as well, because I'm going to figure it out sooner or later. All right. All right. What do you want? Tell me, what do you want? All I want is an explanation. You tell me what you and the creepy cowboy are up to. Tell me what you're doing to Max. And why. You misunderstand me. Not you, because it's not just you. It's you and it's Acer. thing I need to know is what's going down. And what do you want from Max? And why? Oh, I'd be happy to tell you. If I could. But I can't, because there's nothing going down. Yeah, i got to give it to old Ace. I guess he'll string things along until the timing is just right. You know, he's pretty good at that stuff. Todd. I don't know what else to tell you, except to try and explain it again. I told you, this is something that I did. My husband had nothing to do. So, so you set up the video camera outside the bedroom window, and, and you got him into the sack, and then you did the deed all by yourself. I don't know if you could possibly understand this, but this is very embarrassing for me. I, I didn't have you know, the cleanest motives in mind. I just wanted some sort of memory of what Max and I once shared, and this was the only way I could think of doing it. Uh-huh. Asa knows you're here, right? <laughs> Excuse me? Well, I'll just call the old boy and see what he's got to say about all this. My husband had nothing to do with it. You leave him out. Mm-hmm. You know, you keep telling me that. You say that to me again and again. You say it to me like... If you keep telling me that lie, that it will somehow mysteriously turn into the truth. Now, I don't believe a word that comes out of your mouth. Now, you tell me the truth. All right. All right. Perhaps, Todd, you're right. Perhaps sometimes I say certain things that aren't exactly that I, well, that I don't actually mean. Okay. Like what? Well, like, for instance, when I said that I wasn't interested in bargaining with you for the tape. Hmm. Well, actually, there is a certain bargain that you and I could strike. It would be a good bargain, actually, for you and me. Aren't you telling me there's some way that we could both come out of this ahead? Oh, definitely. You see... Once I had the tape, you would then have me. And man, that scar shows depth and danger and sex appeal. Your hair, your 
lips. Yes, they all match that brooding persona that you have. Actually, I think the two of us could have rather a lot of fun. So going with two guys in 24 hours, that doesn't bother you? It would be a first for me. One needs to, I suppose. Exactly. But you don't want me. And I don't want you. You just want this tape. But you know what? Perhaps I want both you and the tape. Perhaps I'm beginning to see the kind of power that you have over some women. Perhaps I'm beginning to understand why Blair is so attracted to you. You've got a wandering hand. It does tend to have a mind of its own sometimes. You are leaning. Sinewy, I like that. Oh, sinewy. Boy. Boy can't hear that too many times. You do excite me. You really do. be remembered. Really? I, I... I don't do a damn thing for you, do I? tell you. I wanted an explanation, but you know what? Never mind about that. I've got a much better idea now. Do you? Yes. What is it? I'll give you back your tape. <laughs> and you can do with it whatever you want. You can use it to destroy Max any way you choose. But if Max goes down, he doesn't go down alone. Meaning what? Meaning Blair goes down with him. 